I can't believe Gary Neville on live TV called Chelsea the blue billion pound bottle jobs. Respect, man. Nah, it's crazy. But to be fair, he's kind of right. Don Bowley has spent over a billion pounds building this Chelsea team. And oh boy, has it gone wrong. They're 10th in the Premier League. And recently, they got embarrassed in the Carabao Cup final by literally Liverpool's youth academy. I don't think there's a club in a bigger mess than Chelsea. And today, I'm going to be in charge of cleaning it up. But sorry, Don Bowley. Your money is not going to work here. Because I mean, Chelsea have already tried spending the crazy money. Clearly, it's not working. We're going to fix Chelsea without spending any money. Yo, look at this boy's first season as Chelsea boss and our budget is zero. That's right. Throughout this entire challenge, the board is not going to give us any sort of money. But still, the goals remain the same. We're going to have to take this team to a Champions League. We also have a couple other challenges that we'll try and complete, like winning the Premier League, as well as getting this team to an average squad rating of 90. And I really don't know how we're going to do it because we can't nope. make any signing. We're going to really have to figure out a core team of youngsters that Chelsea already have and just develop them like crazy. To be fair though, Chelsea do have a bunch of really good talents. Nicholas Jackson could be the next Jogba for us. Okay, yeah, Mikhailo Modric might be a bit of a fraud, but if we give him time, you never know. Cole Palmer though, he's the kind of player I want to build my team around. But then there's also like top tier talents like Enzo Fernandez. I mean, he's a World Cup winner. Since we can't make any other transfers, I think a a lot of our faith is going to be on Christopher and Kunku. All right, so I think I'm cooking up something. This is the team probably long term I want to invest in because I think the growth in this team could be utterly ridiculous. Okay, maybe not for the goalkeeper, Robert Sanchez. I'm not too fond of, but the rest of the team could be Champions League material if we give them a few seasons. That's the thing with Chelsea. I hope I just don't get sacked after like one season of bad performance because I don't expect this team to do wonders in the Premier League this season. For now, though, we need to find a way to hire some scouts. Otherwise, we're getting nowhere. And by the way, we're allowed to spend money if we generate it through player sales. And I think we're going to have to do that by making a pretty big sacrifice. I think it's going to have to be Raheem Sterling. Oh, boy. This, this could go horribly wrong. I'm putting him on the transfer list. I feel like he's 28. The kind of project we're building with youngsters he doesn't fit in. I'd rather take that cash and use it to buy scouts and everything. And maybe a player or two next season. And there you go, guys. Raheem Sterling has been sacrificed. We've sold him. No way. Did he actually join Manchester United? Nah. Sterling's the biggest trader, man. He's now played for Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, and even Man United. Why not join Spurs and Arsenal too after this? But anyways, we're using the money to bring in some coaches. And I guess it's time to see what a young Chelsea team can do. We've made it to the end of the season. And oh boy, things are bad. Things are really bad for Chelsea. We finished seven. It's kind of better than the 10th position they're in in real life right now. But Arsenal have won the league. Yikes. Also, by the way, Chelsea weren't in a single European competition this season. And in spite of just playing the Premier League, we could only finish seventh. But hey, it's, it's part of the progress. We can't make any signings. We're going to have to just trust these guys. And to be fair, look at the growth. And Kunku has been really leading the team. Also scored 18 goals. Reese James up to an 85. Enzo Fernandez up to an 85. Oh, I like this. Nicholas Jackson is coming through. Also scored another 18 goals. Who was our top scorer this season? Yep, it was Jackson and Nkunku. And Cole Palmer as well. Yo, Mikhailo Modric is not 007 anymore. Season 2 and I'm definitely more excited about this one. Because our team is in general looking a lot better. More experience for the youngsters. And good thing is I've still got the job. Which is a surprising thing for a Chelsea boss. Because, yeah, you finish 7th and all. Chelsea coaches are getting sacked. But the problem is we've got no money once again and I really wanted to improve the team because the truth is I don't feel Robert Sanchez is good enough because he's maxed out his potential already look at that it's literally going to take 200 weeks almost four years to get him to go up to an 83 overall this is nah he can't be our first choice keeper okay there might be a way to generate some funds because I'm sure a ton of players have come back from loan like Romelu Lukaku there's no way I'm keeping him at the club transfer list same 
with even Kepa, I don't think he's the guy to be our number one goalkeeper anyways. Ziyech even, if we can sell these three players, I think we've got money to probably bring in a new goalkeeper. All right, first up, Ziyech has been sold to Juventus, 16 million. Kepa has gone to for 21 million. But the big one is Romelu Lukaku. We've generated 30 million by selling him. Oh, would you look at that? 62 million on transfer budget. That has to be more than enough to bring in a decent goalkeeper. Guys, for the brief moment, bringing back Courtois to Chelsea, oh boy. But sadly, that is just not possible. We don't have the money. Carlo Ancelotti just kicked me out. I do want to mention we've got Petrovic at the club, 24-year-old, a 76-rated keeper. I don't think his potential is going to be good enough to be a starter. We're going to have to find someone good. And I think I have found that someone good. Bree Samba. Now, before y'all go crazy saying that he's 30 years old and everything, if we can sign him, it'll kind of remind me of when Chelsea signed Edouard Mendy. Just seems like a very similar signing. I'm pretty sure Edouard Mendy came from the French League too. Plus, Samba's 84 rated. I think he's got the potential to grow a bit more. And we should get him for probably 32 million. And yes, indeed. And there you go, guys. We've got Chelsea's new goalkeeper coming in, Bree Samba. Oh, it's been a grind to be able to sign a player. But I think this was the transfer we needed the most. Okay, we've now got ourselves a reasonably good goalkeeper. I mean, it's nothing crazy. But with the money rule we're working with, we couldn't do anything better. But if this season we can see some solid growth all round, I think we can start making a push for top four. End of the season. And one thing's for sure, I'm liking the growth I'm seeing. We've got our first 90 rated player in Nkunku. Nicholas Jackson's 85. Cole Palmer's 82. But even with all that, the average rating of our team is only 84. There's still a long way to getting to that 90. But okay, our players are performing this season. Nicholas Jackson, 31 goals. Cole Palmer's again exceeding expectations. The main question though, how did we fare in the Premier League? And it's not looking good. Are you kidding me? Eighth? We've gone backwards this season with a better team? I don't get this. Well, I think we've got the Conference League to blame for. Maybe our team wasn't good enough to compete in two competitions. We have made it to the final. I mean, now that our Premier League season's been modded, let, let's at least hopefully just win the Conference League. Come on, let's get this done. I can't believe it, man. Chelsea are literally the blue billion pound bottle jobs. <laughs> He said it! He said it! How have we lost to, to Ajax as well? Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to feel it's legit impossible to fix Chelsea without spending any money. Like... What do we even do? Here we go again. Season three and our budget is zero. I mean, we signed up for this, so we're going to have to figure out a way. Because if for three seasons in a row, we don't get top four with a club like Chelsea, it's it's a disaster. To be fair, though, guys, this season, our team is better than ever. If we can just get some solid growth on Cole Palmer, Mikhailo Modric, our centre-backs, I think that could see us into top four because we do have a few big players like Nkunku and Nicholas Jackson. We're getting through the season, boys, and I think this is our most important season yet. Yet we need to see some real improvements. We've made it to the end of the season and I'm seeing some crazy growth. Mikhailo Modric up to an 86. Cole Palmer as well. Also, our centre-backs have grown really well. Brees Samba has grown in his overall at the age of 32. Now, look at the stats. Modric coming through with 21 goals. Nicholas Jackson with 20. Cole Palmer's doing his job. I think this season we've done a lot better. Of course, we still weren't in any of the European competitions. How did we fare in the Premier League? League? No way! Yo! We've got Chelsea the Premier League title! How? That is crazy! Couple of seasons of finishing 7th and 8th and then suddenly winning the league? This just shows that this Chelsea team has a lot of talent. All it needed was a bit of patience and not sacking managers constantly and, and we've got them the title. That is honestly incredible. With that, we've completed our first challenge of winning Chelsea the Premier League title and next season, for the first time in this video, we're going to be in the Champions League. By the way, guys, over 70% of you guys that watch my videos have not subscribed, and that makes me sad. So yeah, if you guys could subscribe, that would be amazing. It's time for season four. We've just won the Premier League with this Chelsea team, but you guys know the video cannot end until we win Chelsea a Champions League trophy. That's gonna be tough, because I don't know if this team has what it takes to beat the likes of Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Real Madrid. That's a whole nother ball game. Again, we've got no money, but now I'm definitely more comfortable 
comfortable just trusting these players because I know they can still grow even more. To win the Champions League with the team we've got, I think we're going to need a lot of luck. And to be fair, Chelsea, whenever they've won the Champions League, they've had a tremendous amount of luck. Okay, wait, but we actually get unlucky in the group to finish second. Same points as Marseille, but they topped the group. To be fair, we did get a pretty easy group. Round of 16, though, we've knocked out Napoli. Quarterfinals, we drew Sevilla and knocked them out. We avoided Barca, Bayern, and everyone. And even in the semifinals, we got Bayer Leverkusen, and we, of course, knocked them out too. Champions League final with Chelsea. Of course, it had to be Barcelona. We had to get at least one big opponent. The amount of luck we've had in this run, bro, it's crazy. Oh, and would you look at the growth of this team. Nkunku has become one of the world's best players. Nicholas Jackson is basically the next Drogba. Enzo as well, just insane. Modric up to an 89. Oh, what a season for the likes of Jackson and Nkunku. We didn't win the Premier League this season, though, and finished fourth, actually, with Aston Please. Villa winning the league. What is happening? But we've got a chance to fix Chelsea, get them that Champions League trophy against Barca. Oh, yeah, but one thing, we could only get the average rating of this squad to 87, which is a shame because the goal was to get it to a 90. To be fair, if we sim through a few more seasons, I think we'd get there. All will be forgiven, though, if we can win the Champions League. Go on, Cole Palmer. Let's make City regret their decision of selling you. Cole Palmer. Oh, we almost scored the first goal. No, no, no. We're not letting Barcelona score, but we can't be conceding a pen. I need to be more careful. Oh, here goes Nicholas Jackson. A bit of drug but in him. Let's go. Let's see if he can get past the defender. Kind of struggling, but he's done it. And he plays it back for Cole Palmer. Maybe nope. a finesse shot. And that was so close. Yo, Cole Palmer is genuinely insane. No, 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 no. That's Barcelona's first chance and they've scored. Oh, come on. He's doing the Rashford celebration. It's the second half now. And yo, if we end up losing this game, we're going to be called the Blue Broke Bottle Chops. Like, that'll be even more embarrassing. We, we can't let that happen. Absolutely not. Go on, Modric, you pace merchant. Go on, Modric. The pace is crazy. Barcelona getting exposed. Modric, let's go. No longer 007, boys. Come on. Oh, Palmer. Lovely ball. Can Nicholas Jackson get it behind? Go on. Nicholas Jackson. The chip. It's off the crossbar. Go on, Cole. Palmer. Keeps going. Keeps going. Oh, my dears. The stake and saving everything. We've been so much better this second half, boys. We deserve the second goal. And maybe Modric could get it. What was that? Nicholas Jackson, he's opened up space. Here he goes. Is he going to be the next Drogba? He is. He might have just won Chelsea the Champions League. Yes, boys. We've taken Chelsea to the Champions League trophy. Took us four seasons, though, but we did it. With only one transfer, which was pre Samba, we barely spent any money. This just shows that this current Chelsea team, it's got talent. But unless Dodd Bowley can develop a bit of patience, trust the players they've got, they're probably not going to win anything. But if they do trust, players like Cole Palmer, Nicholas Jackson are going to end up being insane. But for today, my job's done because I've got Chelsea to a Champions League trophy. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me fix Bayern Munich because currently they're also in a deep struggle. Click here to watch that.